Hello and welcome to my first installment on FL Studio 8 tutorial. Alright, let's go. So what I'm going to be teaching you is basically um, the basics of FL. What you need to know, all the aspects, not all the aspects, but most of the some, impo some of the important ones that will get you started on your song. Alright, so we'll start with patterns. So to go to the patterns, click this, click the button that has shows the four beats or I don't know four little rectangles. So just click on that, and that brings up certain generators. These are called generators. So kick, for example, you can choose the, like how many beats you want by clicking like every four, and it'll it'll show you the difference of measures by different colors from reddish to black and uh, to play you play your pattern you want to put click on pattern so it shows pattern and hit play and if you want to do song we'll get into that later okay so pattern <clears throat> so if you lay down a nice kick line but you can also go to ever fill each four steps which does that like that and so you just want to lay down a hat line. So let's do hat on every third. All right. Let's add some clack, clap. Sorry, clap in there. That adds as your um, more like an extra rhythm to it. So it sounds. But let's get back to basics again. Okay. So that's your pattern generator. And okay, so now I'm going to show you how to add it to a song. Once again, like I said, I'd come back to it up here, click on song. And now, let's get rid of that. And now you have your song layout. Now, I'm on pattern one. You can see how it's highlighted um, orange over here. And this is my, I don't know what you call it, a beat pointer arrow. And so just click here, click on that, and that'll add this uh, red rectangle. What that red rectangle is, <clears throat> that's your pattern. But it's, it's everything this is, except put down here so you can repeat it as many times as you like. For example, watch. Click on song and hit play. Now if I want to stop it, maybe only do once, and then have it come back over here. So, yeah, I think you get that. So say, what if you want to add more? Because you can't add all of your song onto one pattern, right? You click on Song, and click on Pattern 2, which opens you up for a new blank generator generator bank as I call it okay so if you want to lay down a nice base, uh, beat fill that in there and go to pattern 2 and uh, let's add some let's add a citrus so right click on one of the generators go down to insert and uh, let's go up to, down onto citrus now citrus is a wonderful generator it uh might have some crackling sounds depending on your sound card but it'll after you export it which we'll show at the end it sounds great all right so right now it's a basic string sound you can use that if you want we can also go to presets and uh if you are looking for those great trance sounds it's called saw so let's go to platinum saw that's my favorite Alright, so now you're wondering, well, how do I change the note? Well, you want to right-click on the Platinum Saw Generator, go over directly to Piano Roll. Alright, now what Piano Roll is, here, let me just make it bigger. Okay, Piano Roll is how you decide your note. 
Now it labels C5. That's how you decide your note. Now, what if you want to... Well, you obviously want to create rhythms and melodies. So you click it by clicking anywhere on the piano, and that will give you your note. So say you want to make it shorter. Click to the arrow, click it, drag it that way. Longer, shorter. And uh, that's how you do that. So let's create our basic trance melody. Alright, so you want to hear the pattern again, so you go over to Pattern once again and hit Play. Alright, but that doesn't sound trancy enough. So, if you want to duplicate it, hold down Control, click, and drag to select. Now hold Shift, and click and drag down and duplicate it like that. You can do the same with the higher melodies. Click, hold. Oops, hold on. Let's see here. Um, hold that. Drag it up there. Alright. So you go to back to pattern two, like we're on, and you can hold it. This isn't the best trance melody, but you can try it out. So click there. Now hold it, alright. And uh, now play. Song and play. Well, my drums are definitely not loud enough, so let's increase the volume. This knob on the right increases your volume. So let's turn all these all the way up. And let's turn this down. And yeah. So that's basically um, patterns in the song. The mixer, which is over here, lets you add different effects. So let's say we want our drum bass to be sound drivier. So let's click on this and send it to a mixer slot, one of these. Any of these, so you could add any number of effects. <clears throat> so click on that, which brings up this. Now, in the corner, you see the little thing that says effects. Go up to one, any number you want, you want to assign it to. Let's just start off with one. That sends kick to insert one. So let's go over here and add some effects. Let's uh, add the sound goodizer to make it bassier. Turn that up. All right. Check. Drivier than it was before. And uh, so that's a little bit about the mixer. You can try anything. You have, let's see, reverb, uh, flanger, flanges, all that stuff. And over here, you can click on any number of these packs to get uh, different sounds like. And to basically add any of these over onto your generators, generator bank, you just click and drag them over here. You can go to piano roll and... And there you go. That's basically the tutorial of FL Studio. Um, comment, rate, subscribe.